Ha 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 ha. Fucking hell, lost eight nil. You're getting mauled by the Latix. Anyway, welcome to the FC Barcelona podcast. I'm Chris. I am joined by Ryan and Josh. Say hello, you cunts. Hello, I'm Josh. Hello, I'm Ryan. <laughs> I'm, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. Oh, it's not... Considering uh, our podcast a couple weeks back, I am. I'm happier. I'm yeah. not. I'm not there yet. We'll see you next Wednesday. I think if isn't it if you beat Shelton and Hull lose, theoretically you're safe, even with a twelve point deduction. No, so then, it, we it's Hull lose. then have to win by an, an obscene amount. And then you'd have to lose by an obscene amount on the last day, what, don't you? Because Luton and Hull are playing each other, um, it makes it a bit more difficult. So, if Wigan can win Saturday, Hull and Luton can draw, then it requires a lot for us to go down. But it's not impossible. Um, oh, no, I know it's not impossible, I'm just saying. It's thing, yeah, it's, 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 it's... I don't think that... I don't think that even that will go down to goal difference. That'll be a case of, if especially if Charlton lose as well, that would mean that uh, two, uh, or two maybe three. Maybe three. Uh, so, uh, that would that would mean that two out of three of Charlton, Hull, and Luton would have to win for us to go down. I think it's all it's all very complicated because of the admin situation, but. Apparently, we're going to get a buyer in by the end of July. By the end of July, I saw, I saw that thing, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. The rumour is Marwan Cooper. You see Sport, I want to say, the article was with? Before. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Good girl, lads. Yeah. Go. yeah. So, yeah, I, was uh, re- I read knows? that earlier. I thought, oh, that'll be, that'll be a good topic for the podcast. That'd be nice, but we do have a bit of a different topic today because none of that's happened yet. We do have uh, what's happened midweek with Manchester City. A lot of controversy. Um, does someone who actually supports Prem team want to explain this one? FFP's just broke. Yeah, and it needs it needs massive all haul. It's the fact that Man City have been able have been found guilty in the first place. By UEFA, they've then gone to the Court of Arbitration to thanks for that, Ray. Uh, to appeal against this ban for two years from the Champions League, to then have it overturned but still get a ten million pound fine from to have to pay. Fair enough, it wasn't because he was found guilty or anything like that. It worked like a reduced sentence or anything. It was due to the fact they didn't they didn't cooperate at all. The original investigation, which, I mean, surely that should warrant, as part of the ruling, that the LO have to cooperate with a new investigation. Well, I think this is the thing about that fine, is that I understand that for not cooperating you should get a fine, I understand that. But, um, it was some, it was t- a £10 million fine, which there was statistic that the owner of Man City would earn that back by the end of the morning that the fine came out. Oh yeah. So essentially it's not it's not even a fine. No. It's just that, no. you know, it's it's pointless. It is an arbitrary arbitrary arbitrary? I'm, uh, let's just go for pointless. It's a pointless fine. And yeah, it, it, it's it's just a drop in the ocean as it's uh, to to city that. Yeah, and I think I think personally this is where football's going wrong at the moment and this is where else the Wigan's gone wrong and so many clubs for it. It's obviously it's all about money now. And to a lot of people ten million is gonna seem a lot. Um, I was I watching mean, this video go on, carry on. Go on. No, you go on, go on. Well so I was watching this video and I'll get someone to link it below because it is really interesting, but um it's this and he's, he's Tom Scott, who I highly recommend checking out anyway, he's fantastic, but... Yeah, I love his um, content. Yeah, he's fantastic, but... Oh, wow, that went in. 
Uh, he did a video explaining what the difference is between a million and a billion in terms of something visual. So the idea is the idea that is. Um, a million, a million dollars, if you stacked it, would take you so far. If you stacked a billion dollars, it would take you a different distance. Now, I won't spoil it, because there's a, there a big point to the video. But I'll make sure it gets linked below. Essentially, um, 10 million is, is absolute nothing. It is diddly squat to people who own billions. No. It's especially um, nothing in the terms of the Premier League today. They probably make that yeah. what? I know that obviously within the current climate of what's happening in the world, <clears throat> they can't make that back off, say, ticket sale revenue. Yeah. But they, they, yeah. they surely can make, they, they, they can make that just off like TV deal. Like, like if you break down the money they get paid for like having matches shown on the telly. Like in the, yeah, and like you, you divided it by you know, how many? But the, it, it, it did equate to to mo to less than a match on the finger. I think that's the problem is the gap in finances between the Premier League and the Championship and all all the other clubs as well is massive. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I agree with you, Chris. Uh, the finger, the golfing money between. Between the Premier League and Championships, just unreal. I, I think it was again part of the BBC Sport article. Again, the same article I think he was on about before with uh, the potential buyers um, being possibly bought for, not bought, sorry, brought in for Wigan by the end of July. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it was in that article as well. But I think, like, if Wigan, like, they didn't mention like the Premier League figures, but like in it, well, they, they, they like they, they mentioned the relative figures, like Championship and League One, and they said for Championship, like the revenue that you get for yeah. being in the league, like just a, a, I think it'll be just like a basic fee, won't it, just for being in that league next Pretty season. Much. So that'll you be get some money from the Premier League, but not a lot. Yeah. yeah. It just mentioned the fee. Um, it said four point two million, I think it was. You get Something for staying like in the that, championship. Yeah. Then it said it, that then drops to if you've got it down to League One to just seven hundred thousand. But that's it, and that's like if you imagine that, but multiplied by. I've, oh God, I wouldn't like to even think multiply that by fifty for something like the Premier League. You know, you're obviously getting big money for the Premier League. And it's the fact that that £10 million fine we're talking about, that, um, I think, well, we're going to have lost money, obviously, in the past few seasons. Um, and, like, less than £10 million. So that £10 million fine is huge to us, to Man City, absolutely nothing. It's a disgrace, no. absolute disgrace. It is. Football needs restructuring, but it won't happen because the big clubs will fight against it. Um, in fact, oh, there's yeah. a, there's, they, there was. Go on. They fought about the they fought against it. Um, like when it was talked about being introduced in the first place, didn't they? Like the likes of yeah. PSG and, and Man City was tr trying to stop it from being being implemented, just because they knew yeah. shit like this would happen. But this city. Sh but, um, Apparently so, so it a, should a, happen, but it, it yeah. needs to have been more severe because it's just, it's basically not even a slap on the wrist at this point for those teams. Then no, you get like the likes of AC Milan, who fair enough, they've been banned for two years from European competition and got kicked out of the Europa League. But like, they're not exactly a, a massive financial power. No. Uh, like compared to PSG or your, uh, your, your Man Cities. Yeah. But it's like today there was there was something released through the papers that um, like they they gone and interviewed clubs or asked for a response from clubs whether they'd like the threat and proper test to be sorted, and I think one club said yes out of the out of the ones they asked, and it seems oh, yeah. something it seems something to the fans that is so basic that there should be a fit and proper test, but yeah. the owners. 
it, they can absolutely milk a club dry if they want to. So obviously they're going to say no. And it's that's the problem is that the owners or the people with the money in football have to say it over the fans, and that's where Ryan a few weeks ago mentioned Germany. Systems. Fields. Fields. Oh, is it Fields? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Who is I'm also here now, by yeah. the way? Yeah. He's just Hello, joined Fields. us. Hi all. Hi all. Oh. He's so, just joined uh, us after finishing work. This podcast is now about to get severely low key, but there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, how was very bitchy? Because uh, yeah, uh, he's already winded me up playing fo- fucking Rocket League by knocking it into very, me. It was all right, you know. I, I, I right? like being back at work. Strangely yeah. enough, I found that when I went back. Oh no, because like, I've already been moaned that by my managers. Hmm. Manager, should I say. Yeah. Who also oh, Who also happens to just be my dad. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah. oh, does your dad watch the podcast, mate? Or <laughs> subscribe he subscribes to the channel. No, oh, while well, you're getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> I'm actually going meeting him in the morning. <laughs> Hi, Josh, Dad. Hello. Well, he won't see you until next week, so I can do a runner from the country. Oh, speaking when... of that, have you heard Magaluf bears because of uh, British tourists not adhering to social distancing? Very topical. Um, they're closing Magaluf bears down because British tourists <gasps> aren't, aren't adhering down, adhering to social distancing measures. I mean, I, I don't know oh what my I'd God. expect from Magaluf. I don't know what I'd expect. It's, I mean, I don't. To be honest, I don't think many clubs in, uh, in the world are going to be adhering to it. Oh no. You know, I just don't. I don't understand, basically. But Mag- Magaluf, obviously, a huge party place. Oh God, my no one, pink no one, is no one is going to focus on it. No one's going to focus on no. social distancing. Just gotta go in the window. Yeah, exactly. So lock the country down again. I know people don't want to hear that, but I'm sorry. Until we get a vaccine, we should be we shouldn't be going to other countries, certainly. No, definitely not. Yeah. yeah. Bearing in bearing in mind between That's how us I forgot the, the sake it started in the first place. Because of mass tra- mass transit to other countries being available. But it's the fact that, like, you look at the US, and I know they're, they're obviously the travel ban, but you look at us in the US and maybe a place like Brazil, like, severely failing in their response to yeah. COVID-19. Oh, massively. Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if people saw this today, just a, a small example. You look at the Premier League and the way that we're doing COVID tests now, that's about... 20, well, including staff, it, it's over a thousand tests, I believe. And yeah, I think overall, it's like 1,028 or something like that. Yeah. The NFL today did the COVID-19 test, and I believe 75 tested positive, which is, it will be coming up about 10 or 10. It's not, it's, you know, it's a lot. They have wildly put this up. Um, and this is this why I'm scared for November, really. Um, oh yeah, man, I, mean, I am. I, I'm in a sort of lucky sense at the moment that I'm living with my dad. I'm I've still got a bit of student loan left. I've got some savings. So realistically, if I didn't get a job before the end of the year, it's not a massive issue. But. I'm now looking at November as one of the main turning points in my life because you've got the US election and if Donald Trump is allowed to rule the free world world for another four years, I think we are turbo fucked. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I, I think that as well. Genuinely. He is such an idiot. 
This week, there was a scandal about, I, I think it was Ivanka, I could be wrong, I don't know, I don't know his children, to be honest, I don't think he knows his, who his children are either, but <laughs> one, one of them... Excuse me, the girl. Got, <laughs> the girl. Yeah, one. exactly, it's one of the one of the blonde ones, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> but Donald, aren't you children of blonde? Exactly, oh, exactly. Shit. And I don't know why I'm speaking, <laughs> acting like he's why pretty. Are you speaking? Oh, dear me. <laughs> Basically, one of them got done for promoting, I think it was Black Beans, and I can't remember why. And it's like, imagine if another president, imagine if Obama had broken the same sort of rules that Trump does every week. Like, oh, it'd be up raw, wouldn't it? Like, saying, it'd be up raw. Oh, the racism would be far rampant. I yeah. can just imagine the disgusting stuff they'd be saying now. Or like... Yeah. But I want I can't well I can't actually imagine what they'd be saying such so, because I'm not that way inclined like my brain doesn't think don't, like I that. I don't but... need to imagine. I do have Twitter and I can I, I see what people that, that, put on. Yeah, that, that, that's what I meant. Like sort of examples. I can see the examples of what what they could follow from past experience of what I've seen. The yeah. toxic. That's uh, to Twitter. I mean, it's well, speaking of Twitter, this... did you hear what happened the other day? Good miss, bad weather feels. It is. Yeah. What happened, I yeah. think, yesterday and that. That involves Barack I... Obama. Yes, yeah. I will... Can we just... One second, we'll come on to that. But I just yeah. want to say that as a Six Aside team on YouTube, that do... I mean, we don't have a ton of viewers, and obviously, so we are not authorities on the matter of racism. Certainly, the fact we are for white British middle class gentlemen definitely means we are not authorities yep. on racism. No, but no. it's hard it's hard not to speak out when you've got someone like Trump in charge. It is scary. Yeah, it's you want the world to get a better place, not worse off. Yeah. We have Trump and we've got mini Trump in the UK. Um, and yep. Putin's gonna be elected again for another Ten years, I think. Dies. No, not ten. ten. Sixteen yeah, okay. years, was but, it? Yeah. Sixteen years. Yeah, it'll be until he dies. Um, you know, China's kicking off with everyone. It's, it is a scary <laughs> place to live yeah. right now. It's genuinely a scary place to live right now, this world. And you got North Korea as well. North Korea, yeah. North Korea and South Korea kicking off with each other again, of course. You know, basically... Um, it's, it's very hard for us to cover all that. It's very hard for us to be authorities on all that stuff. But, hopefully, in between all the dark chatter and the bullying of fields, uh, we can bring a smile to your faces. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. If we can bring yeah. a smile to your faces, please go and follow us on socials. And, you know, we do try and keep people happy. Um, we're just... Yeah, we are we are a group of lads just talking about basically. So hopefully that brings you some entertainment. Yeah. Hopefully with this being recorded on the sixteenth of July, just to time stamp it. Um yeah. I don't know why like it's a bad thing time stamping it for this channel to be honest, because it's gonna be out the following week. Um fingers crossed, I'm we'll look, I'm hoping, depending on because we've been back training now for a few weeks since us roots have been have given the go-ahead to do so by yes. government so it's yeah. not like we're breaking rules or anything uh, we did wait for it to be given the green light by the government um, fingers crossed we could have some bonus content next week possibly this is yeah. not more me adding more onto your plate right I'll edit this <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit the, this bonus content uh, we're gonna try and get a video done. Like it won't be a long video. It's more like sort of a, a, a sort of training drill I thought up, which gets everyone involved. That comes down and because like Sam comes down as well and watches us like you know El Presidente. Um, just to make sure we're not <laughs> we're not slacking off sort of thing. That's a joke. She 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 just comes down because like, she's a lovely person. Uh, she'll be in charge of like. The majority, the con she'll be in control of it, should I say. So I think it it should be fun. 
You guys are probably yeah. going to like it, but not, not that the viewers, you'll like it, sorry. I meant, I meant Fields, Chris and Ryan, wait if they come down. <laughs> but I'm, I don't know if it is a wise idea to go down after what we've tried to pull this week. Um, what? Wow. That's the, uh, the Grundy's Grund oh, yeah, back. Yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. We left something in his bag. I won't say what. Don't, but... don't, don't say that. <laughs> in fact, in fact, in fact, if you're watching this, put a comment below. What do you think we hid in his bag? Yeah. And what then at the end, we'll tell you what it is. Yeah. At the end oh, of the podcast, we'll, we'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Oh. That's a reason to stay. Yeah, that's a reason that's to a... stay till the end. Yeah. Find out. Oh, it, it's not drugs. Just to, just to clarify that. It's, it's not, not drugs. drugs. It's not it's drugs. Nothing it's illegal. Not drugs. It's nothing illegal, no. Nothing illegal. It was... It was just a thing. I got it, by Oh, way. no, Sorry, that album's chocolate. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Oh, oh no, he's ate all his chocolate. Greedy no. pig. Greedy oh. pig. The world's gonna end now, you've finished your chocolate. Bloody hell. Uh, Fields, I'll read Fields. Me on time, lads. No, no, don't Fields. worry. Yeah. Can I, because I know you've, you've obviously missed part of this podcast. Can I, can I set you a challenge now while we're waiting for a new game? Oh, go on. Yeah. Can you sum up to me what happened on Twitter last night in 30 seconds, in your own words? Yeah. I don't go I on don't Twitter. Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. But for 30 seconds, for 30 seconds, uh, Fields, can you explain how your chocolate was then? Um, um, chocolate orange. It was, it was a chocolate orange. To go, boys. Yeah, you said... oh. It was a chocolate orange field. No, it was a chocolate orange, orange, yeah. yeah. No, what, yeah. question wasn't what, it was how. Yeah, what, what, how? what was it like? <laughs> how did it taste? Very tasty. My spanky senses tell me this is gonna get fucking tasty, baby! <laughs> how did it taste? Very tasty? <laughs> Such a vivid imagination. I think I think we should start a side series called Cooking with Fields. <laughs> <laughs> leave it, leave it, it's going in. Yes. Personally. Uh, yeah. So Twitter last night. Um, yep. Look, Ryan, I'm gonna hand it to you. Why not, Ryan? What happened on Twitter last night? Pressure on you. On Twitter, to be oh my I god, I can me and Chris only be the ones that know what went on last night with Twitter. Oh dear. Right, all right. Josh, Trump says he's gonna buy Wigan or something? No. No, no, no. Oh dear. Right, I, I, I genuinely can't believe this. Trump. Neither can I. It was literally Josh. everything anyone, anyone, everyone was talking about. Josh. Take it away. What happened on Twitter last night? That's a change in the star it. sign? No! Oh, no shut like up. Fucking! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> we'll try again. Josh, basically. what happened last night? So, basically Chris, <clears throat> there's a massive scam going on with Bitcoin. Uh, a Bitcoin person, I, I, like, I don't know, 
if it was an organization or just an individ individual. I want to say it's just an individual. Or, no, an organization, sorry. Like a hacking organization. Oh. Good miss again by, by Fields. Um, where they took over hundreds of verified accounts. So verified Twitter accounts, if you don't know Fields. Uh, I have a point done with social media. <clears throat> it's the little blue tick at the side of the names. Twitter. So you know, like Barack Obama, for instance. Your... Uh, Football teams will have them, like news outlets basically, and stuff. Basically, it's, it's to make sure that the person who is tweeting is that genuine person. Okay, yeah. that's the point. Right. Yeah. So, loads and well, hundreds of those got hacked, and then started tweeting out, uh, started tweeting out a tweet basically saying, if you have Bitcoin one Bitcoin or any Bitcoin, if you send that to such and such and then inserted like, what I want to say was the link to the Bitcoin wallet. Yeah, it was account. something like that. Um, if you send what Bitcoin you have to those, to that Bitcoin wallet, they'll then send you back double the amount you sent them for free. So they'll basically say they'll double your Bitcoin amount free if you, if you just send it to them. So, yeah, and this, nice. this mass, came in. Scam. <clears throat> yeah, this came in a few variations. So also, there's the Bitcoin one. Elon Musk was a straight up cash one, but again, I think it was through Bitcoin. So it was uh, ten thousand yeah. dollars. I'll send you to that. And this is the thing that these. This is like a lot of accounts that got hacked. So it's not apparently just, it made oh, someone like a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand as well. Yeah. Scam oh yeah, they made a lot of money. Be because this is the thing, this is what's clever about it. It's not someone who's made a fake account and dressed it up to look like yeah. someone yeah. famous. But it, it, it's genuinely, the celebrity's accounts have been hacked and that tweet got sent out. Now, for me, first of all, that needs, obviously, a big investigation, but it's going to need some accountability on Twitter's part because... Of if if they've made over a hundred thousand, that means that a lot of people, a lot of genuinely nice and honourable people, have lost a lot of money. So that needs sorting. But there has to be a huge investigation to how this has happened because these are some of the biggest celebrities in the world, some of the most powerful people in the world, have been hacked. Yeah. Uh, like most, one, I think one of the most notable people that actually had it done to them was Barack Obama. Yeah. Had it done to it? I think I, Obama, Musk, Gates, uh, I think Apple Bill might Gates have been in done, there. Yeah. I, can't quite, I can't remember if I think Apple got done. Certainly a lot of Bitcoin trading accounts um, on Twitter, so the ones that make trades uh, or make um, or uh, give advice on trades, a lot of those got hacked. Um, and I, I just think, obviously, this isn't an amateur job. No, no. I wonder, I wonder, and um, at the... I wonder uh, who bumped me in the back there. But at the risk here of having our channel taken down, uh, and having all my money stolen, I wonder if Anonymous had something to do with this. Nah, it's not something Anonymous do. No. no. Yeah, Anonymous, the... Anonymous oh, protect right, the I'm people. Off. Yeah, it's not That's true. Anymore. That's true. They are they are for the gold. But I just wonder. If, if anything, if if it's like Russian hackers. Well, not even that. That's just thing. Just naive outlook. If if it is like like say another hacking organization or one person or something comes out in the next coming weeks and says, oh, it was me and takes claim for it. I could probably see Anonymous probably trying to ish back a bit to that yeah. individual or associ associated team of hackers sort of thing. I, I can't see Anonymous doing it themselves, if I'm honest. I, I just think that it has to be someone or a group of people who are highly regimented, highly organised, Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it, because to do that, you're talking, 
you're talking people whose accounts aren't going to be... Then again. Uh, they're not going to have the password password, are they? I have a very secure password, okay, Colin Robinson. My password is an impenetrable fortress. That said impenetrable fortress. These are going to no, be... But, but that's two all the time. Yeah, which we've lost in a row. By the way, to, <laughs> yeah. to, to an AI. To an AI, that. Yeah, but t to be honest with you though, what Chris, once you find, the, the man's just found it, uh, a vulnerability in, in Twitter's software, so then it don't, it don't matter yeah. about the passwords then, because once they've found the exploit, they can just keep doing it for as many accounts as possible, so realistically, it could just be one person. I think you, you don't have to be, like, well drilled or anything like that, once you find a, a vulnerability, that's it. You can exploit that I'm vulnerability until it's patched. I'm presuming this is not something as simple as that moon pig at a few, well, I mean, probably, it was probably about 10 years ago, and again, going back to a Tom Scott video, he was talking about there was a hack on moon pig, and the issue they had is that all their client codes were sequential. So, as soon as you figured that out, you could basically put in anyone's client code and access their account. It's not going to be something as simple as that for Twitter. No, so, no, I, I know that, but if, you, if there's something like Kent, or, or mm. even as such, you can, um, what's the word, cross-site scripting. You can do cross-site scripting, like yeah. typing in yeah. a certain line of code and it actually executes when you click enter in like a search box or something like that, and it, it, the code actually runs, then... Can't yeah, be. it won't be the first. It won't be the first time that Twitter has accidentally let the script work on their account or on their website. But it's just, I, I, I think this is something a lot bigger than just an exploit or a simple hack. I think this is carefully coordinated. Um, out of interest, Rain and Fields, what do you think about this? Because obviously you. You two had no knowledge of this beforehand, supposedly. I mean, I mean, it's like now you mention it's like, like, all right, I might have saw a glimpse of that, but I definitely didn't didn't know for the whole thing. But it's it's just yeah. like it's just like mad, like, like how many people like it's been hacked how, and like how the fuck did I not get a save for that? Well, I, I think the thing is we have Ryan here who is an accountant for hire. Just, just say, the counter for hire. So get in touch. But Brian's obviously got a, a good amount of financial expertise here, and you know, a hundred, I mean, what would you think in terms of reparations there, Ryan? A few moments later. Obviously, a lot of money has been like they've they've managed to get off people. And yeah. It, uh, and not just the fiscal damages, but like, uh, like the trust with Twitter as well, is would have yeah, been big time. Uh, damaged as well. And that's like not a calcul calculatable sum. Sorry, hmm. sorry to break the news to you, Ryan. The way you like to calculate sums. <laughs> but you, that's you just it. That can you do it? But this. This has to be, if, if someone is found out to have done it, obviously, I mean, obviously, obviously it's going to go to a, a court case and there should be legal repercussions that extend further than just financial reparations. But, um, I just, I'm just, I'm quite baffled that this has happened to the, some of the most powerful people yeah, in the but, world. Yeah, but also, if it's, yeah, but, it's, it's like, um, if it is a, a group of people that actually know what they're doing, that money's gone. The, you're not getting that back. That's oh, yeah. That's yeah. already... No. That would have been rooted through so yeah. many bank accounts now. Oh, Fine. oh God, yeah. Well, this... I'm thinking, therefore, that it, it obviously, presumably, this is highly coordinated and highly professional, but therefore, if they're not going to get the money back through people who did it, then Twitter need to be stepping up. I mean, 100,000 isn't a lot to Twitter. That's, that's still like, no, no, it's not to Twitter. You probably make that much off like a thingy, an advertising deal with a company. Yeah, exactly. So, 
you know, realistically. That's they another thing be as well. That like back. that comes into with the um, trust issue. Brands won't trust to finger. Won't be That's more willing to trust yeah. to advertise and, it. And another thing with, with that, because Twitter's been hacked, they'll they'll see themselves as a victim, so they'll definitely not want to pay anything else as well. They'd want to pay out. Yeah. yeah. Which I think you, that's, you yeah. for me is is the scariest part yeah. about this is that should, should I mean I I I'm, I should be worried effectively because I don't have enough followers to have an influence on this sort of thing. My Twitter account's basically open. I don't have you know I don't have anything don't secret have on there. there. But why should I trust them now with my email and password? and things like that. I, 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 I'm very concerned. Yeah, it breaches a lot of things, yeah. Like privacy issues. Wait, well, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, in the, you know, the new... You know, they always get you to agree to that privacy agreements and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They sort of relinquish all reliability. Like all accountability and yeah. stuff like that. Or try to, as much as they possibly can away from themselves they said yeah if you've not kept we've put the measures in in place sort of thing to keep your account secure if you've not been able to do that and it's been hacked sort of thing it's you can't point the finger at us but i think for this case obviously you, you can because it's on their end because i doubt you get barack obama and elon musk and that elon musk who owns a multi-billion dollar well i'd say yeah i'd say it's probably a billion billion dollar now with Tesla and SpaceX. Elon, oh Elon Musk is easily a billionaire. Easily. So I, I doubt those guys are sort of failing security. Well, Bill Gates for one anyway. I doubt he's well, exactly. failing security. It's like I said, their password is not going to be password. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so that's another thing. But, um, I, th I think we're probably coming towards the end of the podcast maybe, but um, yeah. um, we'll talk about hackers and anonymous, obviously. Anonymous released some passwords from uh, the police uh, when, um, obviously, the defund the police movement started, and they released some of the passwords. And some people's password was password in the police, in the bloody police. Yeah, but they're not exactly trained on security a lot. It's like with my dissertation, like, sorry to, like, blow my own truck, like, with my dissertation projects and stuff, one of, one of the, um, thing, uh, the questions on a questionnaire I sent out to ask and stuff was to do with, um, should you write passwords down on a piece of paper? And the amount of, from, like, a large group of candidates I had, it was surprising that how much of that, of those actually thought it was all right and okay to to write down the passwords when it's obviously not. Obviously, I'm not expecting you to to uh, remember every password and that going, but yeah, got to yeah. got to think security wise. But it's no no company just thinks oh, sits there and thinks what potential risk are we at. Well, well, guys, thank you very much, John. This has been a bit of a hectic podcast. I mean, fuck those lot rounds could put us title because we've talked <laughs> about everything under the sun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much, John. And please do go and check out our links below for merch. Uh, it does help us big time. And, and, of course, you get to wear some pretty nice clothes as well. And, you know, oh, you can get a mug if that's yeah, more your cup of tea. But, um, Dumb sis. Uh, Good lord. Okay. Well, join us next week for cooking with fields. <laughs> um, um, thank you very much. Do you want to sign out? Over time? See you later, guys. See you later, guys. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.